Fasting is a great help to avoid sin. We first hear of the commandment to fast in Genesis, where man is prohibited from eating of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. After Adam and Eve's expulsion from the garden, fasting is proposed in the stories of Ezra and Nineveh as an in instrument to restore our friendship with God. In the New Testament, Jesus brings to light the true and most profound meaning of fasting, which is to do the will of the Heavenly Father, who sees in secret and will reward you. Jesus himself sets the example answering Satan at the end of 40 days and 40 nights in the desert. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. True fasting then is eating the true food which is doing the Father's will. If therefore Adam disobeyed God's directive not to eat the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the believer through fasting intends to do submit himself humbly to God, trusting in his goodness and mercy. Fasting is recorded in the early church and is frequently encountered and recommended by the saints of every age. Today, however, fasting has lost much of its spiritual meaning, primarily a means of mortifying our egoism, avoiding sin, and opening our hearts to the love of God and our fellow men. Fasting represents an important ascetical practice, a spiritual arm with which to do battle against every possible disorder attachment to ourselves, freely chosen detachment from the pleasures of food and other material foods helps the disciple of Christ control the appetites of nature weakened by original sin whose negative effects impact the entire human person. Denying material food which nourishes our body, nurtures an interior disposition to listen to our Lord and be nourished by His saving word. Through prayer and fasting, we allow Christ to satisfy our deepest hunger and thirst for God. At the same time, fasting helps us recognize the situation in which so many of our brothers and sisters live. In his first letter, St. John admonishes, How can God's love survive in a man who has enough of this world's goods, yet closes his heart to his brother when he sees him in need? Voluntary fasting enables us to become more like the Good Samaritan by freely engaging in acts of self-denial. We make a statement that those in need are not strangers, but rather our brothers and sisters. This practice needs to be rediscovered and encouraged in our materialistic age, especially during the liturgical season of Lent. Lent is a time when we fast with joy, submitting ourselves to spiritual struggles in a preparation for the sorrowful passion and joyful resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is demanded of all Christians at this time is fasting, abstinence, almsgiving, restriction of personal desires and pleasures, intense prayer, confession, and similar pen penitential elements. Lent is a sacred time of divine grace, which seeks to detach us from things material, lowly, and corrupt in order to attract us toward things superior, wholesome, and spiritual. It is a unique opportunity to remove from the soul every in inordinate passion so as to make room for the immense rejoicing and gladness of Easter. Lent is more than just a giving up, it is giving, developing a greater love towards God. It is fast from worry, fast from complaining, fast from negatives, fast from judging others fast from anger, 
fast from personal anxiety, fast from self-concern, fast from discouragement, fast from gossip. Limiting ourselves to what is absolutely essential and necessary in an attitude of dignified, deliberate simplicity is a formula for patience and tolerance. It is an opportunity to acknowledge and emphasize our need for God's assistance and mercy. Placing our complete trust in His affectionate providence, it is a prescription for salvation. Let us be up and on our way.